Hello people, welcome to Tom's Tips. Um, this is... I want to do a video on the um, maintenance of a tap. I've been asked to do this and I thought I'd done it once. In fact, I'm sure I've done it once. But I can't find it anywhere on YouTube. So I thought, bugger it, I'll do it again. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, this is just a normal peddler tap. Well, I don't think it's a peddler, but this type. And they are serviceable, they've got a washer inside. Some types are not serviceable. But this is the quarter turn ones. Well, I'm not saying they're not serviceable, but um, they're not as easy as these. So you take the top off like that. Sometimes with your fingernails. Sometimes you might have to dig it out with a screwdriver. And then inside there is um, Phillips screw. Well, it's not Phillips. It's mine. But it's uh, coming out in a short like while. Right. So you need a Phillips screwdriver. Get that out, and then this this part here will lift off. You sometimes may have to encourage it to lift off. It comes off. Then there's this body, which sometimes will undo with your fingers like that, and sometimes you have to encourage that with a pair of grips. But a lot of these are plastic, so you don't want to do a any gouging at them. But having said that, if they're stuck, they're stuck, you've got to get them out somehow. Now this is the difficult bit because that'll be tighter than a pair of bullfighters breeches. So you need a good spanner and also something to hold against this. There are tools on the market that you can slide over and they'll keep it firm up. If you bought every tool that comes out, you'll have a bag full and you'll be making that many trips to your van, you'd wear your shoes out in no time. So, this is what I use, a pair of grips like that. If it's, if the, it might be a good idea to put a, a rag on there and to like cushion it a bit. So you don't, uh, but anyway, you need to put your body against here and give it a bloody final little go like it, that did there. And this is another trouble you see, this is not a live situation, but in a live situation you, you, you might undo the tap connector in the bottom of that, so that's something to watch out for. But once you've got that free, it'll come out, and then you can see the washer. Right, there's a little nut there. It'll come out for the... If you've got the right tap spanner, fair enough. If you're not, adjustable or pair of grips. And that'll undo. And then probably have to use a small screwdriver. Watch you don't skew yourself. And that comes out of there and bobs your onto. Right, so you put a new washer in there and that'll stop a dripping tap. Now the other thing that happens with these is they seize up and make it difficult to turn. So what we'll do now is take the spindle out again with the screwdriver. Can you see this shirt lip? Uh, we're going to dig that out. Yeah, I stabbed myself then, I've got to watch for that. Once you've got that out, gently tap there. It'll come apart. And then that is on a left handed thread. And that locking nut there locks in place inside there so when you screw that 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 bit moves up and down and causes the tap to um, stick so what you do now is get some silicon grease give that a good greasing 
give that a good grease in, screw it back together and you'll notice the black shite that's in every tap so you know have a cloth for there because that, once you start greasing that that goes all over your hands and then whatever you touch you know the base and the bath all gets flat as well so all you need to do then is put the grease in put it back together put the circlip on Watch it doesn't flirt down the plug hole because if it flirts down the plug hole you're going to take the trap off to get it out and uh, once the five minute job becomes there uh, all day oh, I've gone out of camera shot there haven't I? that's a little bit difficult getting back on so I encourage it with a pair of pliers grips, pump pliers, whatever there you go, that's that. Put that back together. Shroud back on. Tom stop. Phillips screw. How do you do? Okay. And that should be alright. That's a service all tap. Right, now while we're here, I've also got with me the ceramic disc type. This will fall inside the screw just like that, with a different type of tap. These are just a quarter turn. These, you can sometimes buy this as a cartridge like that. And the price of them, uh, I don't know, I think they're horrendous. It's cheaper to go out and buy a new tap. There's no service for parts in them. If you take that to pieces, it's the same thing. You take the uh, circle out of there, knock that out, and that's the bit that you need to get all of it if you can get it. It's called a ceramic disc, and all that does it just lines up inside with the holes, like that closed open, closed open. But, you know, very often, uh, if it's a quarter turn tap, the best thing to do is go out and buy a new set of taps. You could, they start about 30 quid. Of course, if they're deer taps, it might be worth uh, sourcing the uh, ceramic disc. Anyhow, there's a tap for you. I'll see you again sometime.